Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a scenario called Cops and Robbers Maple Leaf Credit Union, which actually consists of two scenarios. We have planning and heist. And it says to start with the planning, which makes a lot of sense to me, so let's go ahead and select it. Planning phase Maple Credit Union. Don't get comfy. Our down payment on the safe house ain't going to last long. The property owners up here are overly trusting, but they're going to see through the phony SSN real soon. We need to familiarize ourselves with the region. Getting lost is bad. Getting lost during the job is worse. So take this opportunity to wander and explore. Once you're done, head to the target. We need to case it to know what we're up against. Keep an eye out for cameras so we can avoid them in the future. We've also gotten in contact with a black market dealer that can get us some wheels. Sans paperwork. No, we can't use this car for the job. This is just for chase casing the place. Oh yeah. And the route, the target's in town to the east. So there's the target. There's where we are. We got to find a way to there and we don't have a compass. Okay. After that, just head back here. Okay, here we go. And uh, it's doing that thing where the scenario doesn't actually start. So we do a quick reset. There we actually go. Oh, we already have ESC kicking in. That's no fun. We'll turn that off for maximum control. That means we can try to, you know, slide all over the place, even though it's totally unnecessary it makes it more likely for me to crash but it's fun like that right there's kind of just a reason why you would want esc though because if you don't want to be sliding all over the place well it's a good thing to stop you from sliding all over the place okay and um this scenario said it had custom music and i could just barely hear it so i'm gonna be real quiet and i'm gonna let the car be quiet so hopefully you can hear it as well I love how right as I said that though, it just kind of went silent. The music went silent just for a second. Anyways, I see the checkpoint you want to go to over there. I was getting a little bit worried, but now that I see the checkpoint, I know I'm okay. I guess it's just one of those ones where you could go a couple of different ways and I just happened to choose a way that worked, thankfully. Well, there was that first checkpoint which put me in the right direction. That helped a lot. All right, we gotta cross over the bridge. Only thing you gotta worry about on the bridge is when you try to slide it and then you end up hitting those pillars on the edge. They will wreck you up. Guess we'll go to the left here. Yeah, I'm just kind of figuring out which way to go. I'm not exactly sure if I should be going this way. Maybe I should have went to the right right there. I don't know, but I'm going to the right anyway, so it's probably okay. Yeah, I think we're doing all right. There's the checkpoint. We could cross right in front of the church, or we could stay on the road like a good citizen, which is exactly what I'm doing right here. It says, it looks good. Now we know what we're up against. It actually says Maple Leaf Credit Union on it, although there are no cameras that I see. It makes it a little bit of an easier heist. And the next checkpoint's behind us, so we gotta do a quick 180 and then make our way over to it. Do you wanna go right here? Maybe it's kinda hard to tell because it's like a back alley. Oh yeah, that's the right way. Ooh, look at that! We got like a vehicle selector here, interesting. So these are the products I have in store. I drive into the image to select your rides. We have a hopper, a van store, and a covet. They each have different weight limits and different black market costs. Well, I don't really know what the money is about, so let's just pick the most expensive one because most expensive is best, right? That's what I would think. We'll just pull up into it and it says, you have chosen the vanster. You have chosen the vanster. Okay, I guess then we pull out and go to the next checkpoint. Yes, I know I have chosen the vanster. So you hit the checkpoint, it says, all right, head back to the safe house. And we're at checkpoint four out of five, so this is completely find the way back on your own and uh, don't get lost in the darkness. It is getting dark so fast and I can barely see. We're gonna put the high beams on because we need as much light as possible here. Because it does feel like a different map and it's much harder to navigate at nighttime. So thinking back, we took a right onto the bridge and before that we took a left. So we're gonna go right here. No, wait, no, 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 no. That doesn't feel right. I think what it actually did is we took a left, we merged onto the road, then we took a right onto the bridge. So we actually want to go to the left here, if I can stop sliding all over the place. And then we go straighten myself out. And then we want to take the next right to follow the exact same path we came from. I might be completely wrong here, I don't know, but there's the right. A little bit overshooting it because it's so hard to see. 
and then we'll just stay on this road and see if it's the right route or not. And if it's the wrong one, we'll have to zoom out the camera a ton and try to figure out which way we are actually supposed to go. And the fact that I don't see any sort of checkpoint in the distance is a little bit worrisome, but then again, I couldn't see it the first time either, so it might be okay. I don't know. Like, I feel like I would have saw something by now. Oh, wait, I just saw a little bit of red flashing in the left right there. You see that? Okay, so we are going in the right direction, it seems like, because we are going a little to the left, which is putting us towards that. So that means eventually we'll be seeing a road on our left that drives up to the safe house. And I'm going to keep an eye out for that, because it could be any second. I see the checkpoint, so it has to be really soon. Is that it right there? No, that's not a road at all. I don't know what I saw that I thought was a road. Uh, that's it. That looks like a road. It looks like it leads to it, doesn't it? I don't know, the checkpoint looks a little far, but I see the house. This has to be it. Right? Yep, there it is. Just go ahead and drive up to it and try to do a little bit of a dramatic entry where we slide a bit. It says, all right, we're ready. Tomorrow morning, this town will wake up to us. So now we're going to go to the scenarios and go to the next one, which is called the heist. Maple Leaf Credit Union. Thursday, April 19th, 2018, Furwood, Maine, U.S., 40,000 liquid cash. This one should be pretty simple. Just don't get cocky. Even an easy job can go wrong. Here's how this is going to work. We're loading up the car with our gains while the police are responding to the alarm. Whenever you think it's best, pull away and we'll stop loading. Go sooner to give yourself some distance before the police arrive. Go later and our score will be bigger. Should we get away at all? Once we lose the police, stay low, head back for the safe house, and keep an eye out for any cameras. They'll get the police back on us, so be vigilant. Remember, our safe house is the old mansion off the airline highway, so just be sure not to leave the police right to it. Okay. We want all the money. I'm going to wait until the police are basically ramming me, and then it's like, okay, time to go. $1,000 more. Keep it coming. $5,000. we are getting closer. Come on, more money. $10,000. we are a quarter of the way there. They have $40,000 in there, guys. And how did I make sure, like, the people are actually in here? What if one of them, I abandon them inside the bank, and then they just get arrested super easy, and then they snitch on me, and everything goes terribly? Halfway there? All right, 25. I don't see any cops yet. I think we're good still. We're good still. 30,000. Next is 35, and then 40,000, and we should be set with all the money. At least I assume that's actually all the money it has. Maybe keep waiting longer. Completely loaded up. Go! Okay. Go! Oh, there's the cop. Hello. Just sliding right by him. Ha! They didn't expect that. Not even I expected that to work. Now we gotta lose him by swerving. Swerve, swerve, swerve. I don't know if that actually does me much good because they probably handle better than me. But we'll, we'll try swerve, man. Usually it's a good strategy. Well, apparently it isn't right now because the cop's right there. Are there multiple cops? I guess they have to be multiple cops, because I have no idea where that dude actually came from if it's the same guy. Keep on swerving, eventually we'll lose him! Although there's not really much area to swerve, this is like, no choice of direction here. And, oh, okay, that road's blocked off, then we'll go to the right then! We'll go to the high speed area, see if that's a good way to lose him. I, I don't know how to lose him, I'm just driving all over the place and trying to drive aggressively so they can't keep up. Whether or not it works, I, I don't know. Like, I don't hear their car? I assume that's a pretty good sign, but they could be coming from a different angle and they might just be up here right in front of me because there's so many cops. I don't know. I don't know. I, I would think I would have saw him now. Oh, you lost the police. All right. That's a good sign. Now he's got to find our way back to the safe house. And I think we're on the right route. Like we can get there from here. I don't know. I'm a little bit turned around now. I don't know which way I actually exited the town because I wasn't thinking about it, I was just swerving and driving all over the place. But hopefully we exited in the direction that I'm thinking of, which means the safe house should be coming up shortly. Or we could be on the completely wrong side of the map. Nope, there's the red. We are coming up on it because it looks pretty decently sized. But let's see. Can we do a little bit of a shortcut through the uh, dirt? Because it looks like it's right there, doesn't it? Come on, truck, go, go, go. Nope, we need a little bit of momentum here. So let it roll backwards and then stop, stop before you roll back too far and then floor it. Get it up to 20 miles per hour and through. All right. 
that's pretty interesting though how you could choose your vehicle like that so i became the van anyways i think you could do it again with the other vehicles but i assume the van would be the most difficult so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here and i don't want to do the easier ones after i do the difficult one that doesn't make sense so until next time this has been ybr i'll see ya